Public Service Emerging Leaders Fellowship, PSELF, is a premier leadership development program that aims to create a new generation of well-trained and ethical leaders in Kenya's public service. This fellowship aspires to contribute to a transparent and ethical service at the national and county level by recruiting young exceptional talent in the civil service to improve public service delivery, manage government resources ethically and transparently, and building a cadre of high-achieving professionals. I want to congratulate the 51 fellows in the Emerging Leadership Fellowship Program. If you do your best, I am confident that our public service will be in good hands today, tomorrow, going into the future. The program is jointly run by three partners, the Public Service Commission, Emerging Public Leaders, and Emerging Leaders Foundation Africa, with Chandler Institute of Governance as the curriculum developers. The Public Service Emerging Leaders Fellowship is a true demonstration of inclusive youth engagement. We are building a network and a whole system of able, competent, very stable, very innovative uh, public servants who have the vision of the country in mind and who understand what it means to serve citizens uh, with the most uh, innovative and the most um, effective services there ever has been. Now when you begin early, because this program targets public servants who, are, who have been in the service no more than two to three years, you begin to ensure that the public servants entering the public service itself are properly guided in terms of the kinds of values, practices, policies, processes, systems that exist in the public service. What I see in the young people is a future. And this future cannot be done any other way than to looking and mentoring and nurturing leadership for the willing and I guess our first cohorts comprised that very willing young men and women who have proved over the year that they can do it, they can cause the change that we need for this country. On 21st November 2021, the three partners, PSC, EPL, and ELF Africa entered a tripartite agreement through a joint memorandum of understanding. The MOU signing was held at the Kenyatta International Convention Center and was graced by the then Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Public Service, Professor Margaret Kobia. I just want to congratulate the Public Service Commission for teaming up with the other two organizations to purpose to develop leaders in the public service. The MOU signing paved way for a meritocratic recruitment process that was jointly conducted by the three partners. The recruitment targeted young women and men aged between 18 and 35 who were permanent employees of the Public Service Commission and had worked for the government of Kenya for between 6 and 12 months. Over 6,000 applications were received, from which an initial list of 700 applicants was drawn. This number further came down to 250 shortlisted applicants who proceeded to interviews. In entrenching diversity and equity, 26 of the 51 fellows of the inaugural cohort are ladies, while 25 are men. 6% of this number are persons with disability. The 51 fellows come from 41 out of the 47 counties of Kenya and are drawn from 26 different ministries, departments, and state agencies. Then it was time to commission the 51 fellows into the fellowship. In March 2022, guests from all walks of life gather at KICC for the official inauguration ceremony. This was an auspicious occasion graced by Madam Ellen Johnson Salif, the former president of Liberia, who was the chief guest. All of you represent the future of your country. Your leadership and the devotion you give to public service will result in meaningful contribution to Kenya's bright future. Speaker after speaker spared no chance in enumerating the value and importance of this fellowship. 
The inauguration of the first cohort of fellows is therefore the beginning of the realization of the process of developing leaders in the public service. To the inaugural cohort, whoever much is given, much is expected. We have a greater task ahead of us and a duty to demonstrate value and give our partners a reason to keep investing on this noble course. But like Professor Angari Madai, she found her little thing which was planting trees. What is your little thing? Please find it and fan those flames in your heart and keep going. Make a difference. You have already chosen to serve. You are daring to lead and to transform this country, this continent, this world. My hope is that you start a wave of talent that is as committed to the service of your nation as you are and the world we all live in. Empowered and accountable leaders are critical to a professional and effective public service, which inspires a sense of purpose and drives high performance. Through this program, we're sure of injecting new ways of thinking and approach in government institutions that will ensure for all of us greater efficiency, greater transparency and effect very useful and value-based public service. Imagine public service leaders therefore must be champions of efficiency and value for money by developing and implementing innovative, innovative cost-effective service delivery solutions. The Public Service Emerging Leaders Fellowship is implemented through a public sector-centered curriculum whose focus is three-pronged. Citizen-centric service delivery, public service leadership and ethos, public sector systems and methods. These thematic areas are delivered by seasoned private sector practitioners and illustrious career public servants, both in service and retired. We have laid a very good foundation on the curriculum. I think we have uh, designed some uh, useful programs. Uh, of course, we'll be happy to work with um, uh, the team here to tweak further if there's need, uh, if there's need to. Uh, and I hope um, there will, uh, this program to be successful, not just now, but for the future. The workshop program or the segments, they were structured uh, very well. Uh, we had a formal part where we could sit in a class, have uh, lessons, have uh, practical exercises. And uh, in other aspect, we had um, informal interactions like uh, bonfires where we could uh, meet, share our personal experiences from uh, fellow to fellow and uh, from other uh, people we consider as mentors. And uh, these are now the platforms that uh, help us you know uh, each fellow at a personal level. So this Imagine Leaders uh, Fellowship Program um, is critical in that one, it takes the best of our future public servants, it takes a hold of them at a very early stage in their career and allows them to be mentored by people who've gone through uh, public service themselves and are able to share their experiences, the good and the, the bad and the ugly. The greatest power of this program is the peerage, the cohort. Uh, and the cohort will rise to become leaders in the different ministries and agencies. And I think that that collectivity and interconnections um, is what is going to be of real value to this country, but also to the individual peers um, that are members of this cohort. And the fellows are the real heroes of this peace self story. Many of them have already begun effecting change at their different workstations. Over the last one year, I've been extremely impressed. I've been extremely impressed because we saw young people who were not even confident about themselves coming in. We saw young people who at times could not even address a crowd. But we also saw young people who did not know what the public service career holds for themselves. As they graduate, and I've interacted with them from the inception up to now, we have had private conversations, we have had a lot of interesting things, we have seen them taking initiatives. I'm very glad one of them is doing a master's and a number of them are also seeking for opportunities to develop themselves. That is what I saw. We have seen people who have come to know that their development of their career is in their hands and they should not let anybody else take charge of that. In Nakuru County, Jacob D. Kiyage 
dreamt of a tech-led adult education at his Nakuru West Sub-County Adult Education Center. Inspired by the stories of change, driven by ordinary men like him, he applied for a grant from the Safaricom Dotozetu program. And as sure as his faith was, he received 500,000 shillings, grant worth of computer and related accessories. The ministry sent the instructors. And once they have sent the instructors, it's now you to look for how to handle those youths, how to look for their resources. So this is uh, something that I took. Uh, I look at the challenges and how to overcome uh, these challenges. It brought the idea what we were taught about uh, integrated uh, service. You can give service, but you don't have just to restrict yourself to your ministry. Uh, collaborate, 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 and you will get uh, the, 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 the best results. In Kisumu County, Henry Nyamogosa, who teaches at the Kisumu National Polytechnic, amazed all and sundry. Henry took over a neglected course that no teacher wanted. Henry has picked up one of the courses that was low-lying, the course in tourism management. Originally, this course had been placed in the business department. But I think when Henry put up the focus, that course was changed from business department to uh, hospitality and institutional management. And that is one of the courses that we get 100% pass. The students are so proud of it. He's very outgoing. He will uh, arrange for them academic trips. And I think he's impacting very well on the students. Before I joined the fellowship, there was many gaps in me, myself, in even how do I handle my target audience, in this case the students. Then uh, another thing on how do I improve my service uh, delivery through following the right procedures and everything. So uh, since I attended the fellowship, I can see tremendous change in that because one now I know I keep involving my students who are my citizens now in doing everything I do. In Lamu County, we meet Hadija Mohammed, a probation officer who is now going above and beyond her job description. One thing I can say about the peace self, it gives one a change of mindset in how to go about your career and uh, and everything. You need to think outside the box. It doesn't your role doesn't end with what you do, but what you can do. So for instance, for me, not only do I work in the probation, but also aid the education department by providing my counseling skills. Because besides being a probation of some uh, professional counseling psychologists, and I render my services to the community and uh, also the other departments in, by trying to empower young girls, young boys in our community to see the importance of education, importance of literacy, from our comments. So one thing I can tell about um, my colleagues out there, seek any opportunities that is going to better your skills. As we look beyond the vista into the future, where do we all see this fellowship? I would tell a fellow in the Peace of Program, remember your mission. Stand your ground when it comes to your values. It counts, it matters. Be seen, be heard. Pursue your, your mission, pursue your purpose. My vision for uh, the Public Service Emerging Leaders Foundation program is that as we go along, we build a critical mass that can be a tipping point of young uh, public servants who've gone through this program when they go back to their ministries, their organizations, their public institutions, they're able to practice what they have learned through this program and be able to take leadership roles within those public service institutions and make them better. To me, the greatest thing is to have the program growing from the 51, as you know, we are now moving to 65. I'm seeing it going to 100, and 
You know, when you have all these many nurtured as leaders, the public service is much richer and healthier and more determined to give the service the citizens of this country need. So they should consider themselves the apostles of sacrifice and service in the public service. And as apostles, move out to the gospel of service and spread the gospel of service across the public service, not just in Kenya, but across the African continent. Public Service Emerging Leaders Fellowship, nurturing value-driven leaders.